right guys what's up everyone it's been almost a week since I went for a bike ride so I figure I better get out I missed a couple of nice days so I'm gonna get out and do a little ride and get some exercise for my mind body and soul Hey, what's up YouTube? Everybody out there in internet land. How's everybody doing today? Uh, thought I'd stop here. <coughs> Beautiful day out. Uh, the last time I went for a ride was actually last Saturday. So it's been a few days. We've had some rain. <coughs> We've had some rain and some gloom. Uh, there was a couple of nice days that I could have ridden, but I just wasn't feeling it. Had other things going on in my mind and I kind of let myself uh, get a little lazy on those couple days um, but I'm out today and I'm enjoying it it's a pretty day uh, I just want to discuss a movie review I went and seen the new Halloween uh, it's a reimagining of the original Halloween 2 that came out back in 1981 it's a reimagining of it and so far the only movies that exist are Halloween 1 from 1978 uh, and this new Halloween 2 movie in 2018 everything else has been wiped out it's kind of giving you a new uh, look on things a new perspective originally from what I understand John, John Carpenter didn't even want to do the 1981 Halloween 2 <coughs> excuse me he didn't really uh, want to do it and he was kind of forced into doing it and he didn't like it so uh, many years later uh, they've decided to uh, give us a new perspective on the second Halloween uh, initially going into it I didn't ha I didn't really have high hopes I didn't really you know I kind of thought from the previews you know the trailers and that that it looked a lot like uh, Halloween H2O uh, and that uh, it was a little like Jamie Lee Curtis was kind of putting on a Sarah Connor from Terminator 2 kind of character and, you know I just <coughs> I don't like remakes or, or, or redos too often in movies and so I went in there with a you know pretty skeptical but eventually with an open mind and I'm glad I did. From the moment that movie started till it ended, I was on the edge of my seat. I thought it was fantastic. Um, 
a lot of people aren't liking it. They thought the comedy that was in there was too much, and they didn't like how they took out uh, Michael and and uh, Laurie Straub being uh, brother and sister. They introduced that in the original Halloween too, that they were brother and sister. Carpenter didn't like that. He didn't want that, and so he went back and, you know, did it how he wanted. They're not siblings. Um, what drives Michael to go after Lori is the fact that in the original Halloween in '78, he didn't finish his he didn't finish his goal. You know, in that movie, uh, it ended up with him you know, getting beat, so so to speak. And uh, he didn't get to kill Lori Stroud. So 40 years later, lots of frustration, and after being held captive in a, uh, in a psych ward for 40 years and all that, you know, we all know from the trailers and what we expect that he gets out. I'm not going to put any spoilers in here, hopefully. But, uh, it's a it's a intense movie. It's brutal. Um, there's a lot of killing, but they don't over glorify it. Uh, they're not just showing you all the kills and all that. Sometimes you'll just hear it. You'll hear the kill, and then they might pan the camera across and maybe see it or something like that. It's not just like all in your face. There are some, and it's done amazing. Uh, the videography, it, it just the way it looks, the way it's shot, the way Michael looks, the character that that uh, played Michael Myers, uh, he was actually trained by the original Michael Myers, Nick Castle from '78. Uh, he came back, and actually he has a, a few spots in there as well as Michael. I'm not sure exactly all of them that he played, but he has a couple of little parts in there that he did. Um, the movie was, in my opinion, intense in a good way. Um, once Michael got out, <coughs> once Michael escaped, it was it was go 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 <laughs> go time. And uh, really, uh, you know, once once the the third act comes in, and there's the whole clash of the titans, without giving too much away really cool really interesting uh, really done well and I haven't felt this hyped and this good about a movie that's had me just waking up in the morning thinking about it the next day since the original Blair Witch Project in 1999 that's my favorite found footage movie and it's up there with any movie you can name <laughs> for me I love it um, the original uh, this new Halloween 2018, great. I recommend it. Keep an open mind. Don't go in there too confused about things. People like to get confused on these movies, and I'm one of them. I've just recently started really reading in and watching videos and discovering everything, and and uh, all these years later. So it, it's interesting to kind of see uh, really the stories throughout all the other movies how they kind of intertwine and what's going on but sometimes we get lost we started out uh, it started out as just a babysitter slasher movie in 78 that's all it was <clears throat> and then it just got a little a little hectic in there in some of the parts uh, like four five and six it went into some crazy kind of spiritual weird stuff but uh and then Halloween 3, we'll leave that out because that don't even have Myers in it. Uh, which I rewatched this year, and it, and that's only the second time I've probably ever watched it since it came out. And I'm okay with it now, just looking at it as separate. <laughs> Something totally different. Anyhow, what do I think about Halloween 2? The reimagining of the original Halloween 2? I think it's amazing. I think you need to go see it. I don't think you'll regret it. And it's a heck of a ride, in my opinion, from start to finish. Well done. And there's even a little bit of comedy off in there, which is kind of weird, but heck, it works. It's good. So I give it a 9 out of 10. Easy. It's right up there with the original 1978. So go see it.
All right, I'm gonna get back on my bike and take off. We'll see you later. On your left. Hey, mm -hmm. how you doing?
Oh, we got some wind. Through that stop sign. What a rebel. Well, there's that. Uh, figure I'll go ahead and sign off here. I'm one mile from home. So just in case my battery dies, I'll go ahead and sign off here. Uh, get home, get this video uploaded, get it edited, all that good stuff. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Everyone, I hope you get, a, get out today. It's beautiful. Get up, get out, get rad and do it to it. We'll see y'all later.